Well, well, that's another thing. I'm going to tell you that story in a different video. This is another spotlight video. So we're going to be is very professional, right? Well, that was the first one. This is a series. This is like the next step. And it. it's like a, it's like a mini series. Like you remember when they introduced the green ranger to the power rangers and it was like a four or five part thing. That was amazing. People went nuts over that. I mean, I was a kid, but Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. And in our second series in this product spotlight from Remo3, we're going to take another look at the Clarity product. Only this time, we're going to take it a step further, talk about setting it up, some more custom things you can do with it, just get into the weeds a little bit more. Exactly. So that's kind of what we're, we're doing, except with less, you know, Power Rangers. That makes sense. Get Rubix. Solving for the modern workplace. All right, so a quick recap on where we left things. We we took a, a look through Clarity, which is the newest product from Remo Three. Um, it's an Intune. Uh, I wouldn't. I would go further than to say it's a reporting platform. You know, it, it it's very much a transformational visibility platform that sits on top of Intune and gives us great information into our data. Everything from Windows updates at a very granular level to high level, you know, tenant health as far as what's our overall BitLocker state, Windows version, our app inventory and, and device counts there. You definitely get some great information on application management at a glance. Um, I have this set, you know, we can see kind of what's not working. You know what's what's failing things like that when apps were created asset insights gives you a breakdown on all your your devices right i really just mostly have windows it's going to give me an active to inactive status it's going to give me my sync activity i think what some of the most important things where we touched on one was environment compliance which is where i can see the trends of compliance if they're dipping if they're getting stronger uh what are my factors there encrypted versus non-encrypted um active versus inactive devices drill downs into individual policies okay and and this is a report i think is incredibly valuable um and i'm going to show you how to turn this on this is the nist application vulnerabilities so nist makes up the security standards of which we're usually kind of vetting a tenant against and basically this integrates with an api key you get from nist to show you your vulnerabilities the way it works across the applications so that's our biggest you know whenever we look at application patching the reason we do that is usually associated with threats and we can see how that works here publishers with csvs right now uh, microsoft and google are taking that affected vulnerabilities published over time well good news is that's going down um, but i could very easily see the apps i have with cvs right so it looks like chrome is a big offender here. I can sort that by um, descending. So we could see Chrome is kind of the biggest offender. And for more information on that, I can open the security advisor and that's gonna take me to where they're publishing the known vulnerability and I can read about it and get the information to see why it's getting that score. One of the things I look at in any, you know, add-on platform to Intune, because there are a lot of them out there, but it has to be uh, easy to integrate, right? We don't want to do a lot of work on top of things. If it's complicated, we're not going to use it as that's going to create friction. And, you know, even if a tool is incredible, if it's too much of a pain to set up and use, it's pretty much useless. So one of the things I like about Clarity is it was very easy to snap in and get going. So let me show you how to set it up, how to get started and connect it to your tenant. All right, so I prepared a second environment here that I didn't connect yet. Um, so what we would do is to get started, there's admin settings and feature configuration. And there's a lot you can enable. So the basic Intune and enter reporting, that's how you're gonna pull in all your primary uh, data from Intune and Entra. Um, if you have the Windows update uh, for business reporting with the log analytics connected, you can sync that up. Uh, I don't currently have that in the environment, so I had no way to, you know, uh, make those two talk. 
Um, other cool features, we talked about this last time. This is where you set them up. Uh, Dell has an API, so does Lenovo. So if you wanna see asset warranty information, um, things like that, you can snap them right in, which is very convenient. And then this is the NIST API thing I was talking about. So we're gonna talk about how to get that key and snap it in. Uh, let's start with the basic one. We have to turn on Intune and Entry Reporting for this thing to work. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put in your Entra tenant ID. If you don't know where to get that, I'll make it very easy for you. Entra.microsoft.com, you sign in, and it should be one of the very first things we see up here. Yep, tenant ID. Grab that, and we're gonna click the little edit button, put that in, and then click the save icon. Now with that there, we turn the connector on, and we're gonna click grant consent, Make sure you have the appropriate permissions when you sign in to grant all of the graph permissions. Yep, so it's pretty much just reading everything. So you're gonna accept that. Once that's there, you can test the configuration and that'll come back green or red. I think it takes about 24 hours. So once you let it turn it on, let it cook for a day and uh, all the data should be in syncing within that time. Now, moving on to the NIST configuration down here, um, what I would recommend doing is you can read about the information on the NIST site. They kind of talk about what the key does, getting it. So if you do want more information there, we're gonna click request an API key. And you would just type in your organization name, your email address, and you put the type of organization you have, information technology, and you submit that. Oh, I forgot to agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, and what they do is they email you a key and get that key. All right, there it is. Uh, to get our key, we have to click here. There it is. So hang on to that because I don't believe you can get it again. You can always request a new key, but you know, whatever. So same thing, we hit edit, paste the key in, save. Once that's in there, you turn the connector on. No, I don't want to save that key here. And when you test the configuration, it's going to come back green or red. And that's it. This takes, again, this is a 24 hour thing. So you let those two things cook and then you come back and it will go to my prod tenant and everything will kind of start popping here. Now overviews are nice, but it's even better to drill down a little bit. So when we look at the unique CVEs here, I'm going to click in that link for that report. Now here I'm getting the app vulnerabilities per device. So these are my different devices. And you can see like, so for this guy, it's listed three times. It has a vulnerability by this Bonjour Apple application. That's the CVE name, that's the score, and that's the vulnerability count. And I get the brief description. Um, and if we keep scrolling, we could see more information. The severity level, the complexity of the attack, right? We can see the published date. So that's actually quite old. That CV was there. So, you know, there's something on there I probably shouldn't be using. You have all that information here. So it's great that we can access that. And Clarity gives us a lot of information and visibility into what I would say the more common asks as Intune admins that we're always looking for. But you know the drill. There's something custom you're gonna wanna see. Someone's gonna ask for something very specific and it's not gonna be here. Well. Clarity gives us the ability to create those custom views and reports, and we can get very, very granular with what we want to see. So I'm going to show you uh, two examples of how to create. I'm going to do somewhat basic reports, but it'll at least give you the idea to see, you know, you can essentially create whatever you want. So over here in reporting on the left, I'm going to go down to custom dashboards. And anything you make that's custom would show up here. I haven't made anything yet. We're going to do that together. So below that is create dashboards. Now I will say before you use this, you have to go to admin settings. You have to edit your user actions and you have to make sure create dashboards is enabled because that's not something, you know, you might not want all the users in your tenant to have the ability to do that. So you turn that on, make sure that's there. Otherwise that's going to be grayed out and you'll be scratching your head saying, well, Steve lied to me. So I'm going to make a new dashboard. I'm going to call this um, device encryption overview of encrypted devices. And we're going to click visualization. Uh, we're going to stick with common device information. 
There's several data sources you could choose from. So we're gonna start by selecting a grid. All right, so what are some of the columns we're gonna add? Well, we want the device name. We'll drag that over. It's just drag and drop, it's super easy. We want the device name. Um, we can get the Intune device ID. That'll help us kind of look it up. And you see, they're just populating there. Uh, we can get the, let's see here. There it is, encrypted. That's going to be a true or false value. So not every device has an Intune device ID. So that's going to indicate I have some stale things. So let's put a filter on that. Let's do Intune device ID. Uh, let's do a filter empty values. Okay. So I got rid of everything empty. So this is only showing me active devices. Now I just have the true or false list. So I want to see everything that's encrypted. So I'm going to add another filter. We're going to go down to encrypted and we're going to select the value as true. Great. So I don't have a lot encrypted, but I'm going to go ahead and check that box. Let's, uh, call this encrypted devices okay now what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to add another visualization to this i want one for non-encrypted devices so we're going to do the same thing we're going to say we're going to make a grid we're going to add device name we're going to add the intune id and we're going to go encrypted and you could search for these two um so you don't have to scroll around like a crazy person like I'm doing here. Let's add the filter on Intune device ID. So Intune device ID will filter out those empty values. And for encrypted, we're going to go false. And that'll show us everything that's not encrypted. There we go. And now we'll call this. See, we have way more. That's not good. We'll call this unencrypted devices <clears throat> and you can adjust these any way you want so if I want to go ahead and make this one a little smaller maybe I want to raise it up uh, maybe I want them to be the same size and I'll just scroll that's fine and then I think I want a chart right down here um, just to show me the breakdown between the two so let's do edit again new visualization so what I will do is I will now do a pie chart and I will make the label the encrypted devices. We'll do the value as the device name. So when we go encrypted, we're going to see, we should see true false. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be our breakdown. So I can just say, uh encryption breakdown and that could be my little chart right there so yeah i i can do this a few different ways you know i can i can move this around to put this up here in the front and then have the breakdown however you want to do it but they they give you all those all those options which is nice i could even do this here right so um so yeah it now that i have this that's my device encryption so I'm just going to save this. And now when I go to custom dashboards, that's a tab there. I click on device encryption and that's what I just made. So I've been using Clarity pretty extensively since it launched. And I got to say, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, I guess some of the highlights, a lot of information out of the box, right? A lot of good data um, without you having to do anything custom yourself, right? I showed you how to set it up. It's basically plug and play. You snap in your keys, you let it simmer for about a day or so, and then you're off and then the data just sinks from there. So I would say, yeah, if you're interested in it, and I know some of you reached out, definitely hit the link up below, get a demo of the product, uh, see for yourself, right? Try it out. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be interested in your take on it. So, you know, reach out to me in the discord, hit me up and we'll be seeing you.